let's in, let's install one set of security bits. Let's, let's install two of them. All right. I don't think there's a specific order, but they said to install these ones first so, you, so it holds it up. Okay. So we'll go ahead and install two of the security okay. bits. So there are seven holes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to be installing it in the middle one, the one that divides it into three. Okay, so we're going to go drill a hole into here. We shouldn't have to really hold it up anymore. It is kind of bowing a little bit. So we'll probably press up a little bit before we start drilling. But uh, we're going to drill this hole right here. Yeah, this hole right here. And then we're going to put this bit in here, okay? And remember, we're using the 1164 bit. Okay, so, so to install these security bits, you got to use a flathead, okay? Right here. Okay. Just like that. one let's go do the other side more I don't know let's just do this one we're already here so I don't have to change the drill bits so that should be pretty secure already I don't really need to hold it up anymore okay a little crooked but it should be fine I'll go get a I'll get a I'll get a screwdriver and I'll see if I can tighten it all right so we're done for this side uh, let's go let's go replace this security bit right here so we're gonna go ahead and replace the rear security bit that we just I mean the the regular bit with the security bit okay the the hex hex one so I'm going to take it off now since it's pretty secure. Okay. Okay. Should be good. And there's a little bit of stuff peeking out under the bottom there, but that's okay. All right, so this side is totally done. We're done installing the security bits. We don't have to do any more here. So let's go to the other side. We'll do the same thing, and then we'll start the riveting. Okay, okay so like the other side, we'll start in the middle. Hopefully I can get it right on the money. Yeah, you know, before I start, like, putting all these fasteners in, I'm going to... Try to blow some of them. Ah, they're just aluminum flakes. It's no big deal. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the security screw. Okay. Tool difficulties. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drill this one right here.
for whatever reason this one went in crooked i don't i don't know why man but oh because this one is like it's touching the frame rail a whole lot okay well it's very it's very on there now okay so we're gonna go remove that bolt right there put that in way too much man might have stripped it I don't know. okay all right so there it is it's in there okay so it's pretty much holding itself up with the security screws uh, for some for whatever reason this side was just horrible the only one I really got in flat was this one this one when I when I drilled it I don't know maybe I drilled it at a weird angle or something but uh but like it was going in straight and suddenly whoop, it just went it got crooked all of a sudden i don't know there might be something in there hopefully it's nothing important you know <laughs> um and uh and then this one uh i took the old one out and i put the new one in and it, it just felt like it just kept on going so you don't want to put these in too tight because uh because they're not going to be able to take them out anyways so all right so yeah i hope that one doesn't come out if anything in the, if that ever comes out in the future we can just uh we can just put a bigger uh, a bigger screw in, okay? All right, so we're done with the security bits, all done. So it's right, time to so get the rivets, bit. and here's the drill bit we'll be using. Um, that other drill bit had no problem cutting through the, the frame, so hopefully this one won't. So we're totally done with all that security bit stuff. Yeah, no more security bits. I, I, honestly, I really don't like installing. <laughs> okay. So the first thing we'll do is we'll drill all the holes first. All right. So it should be a three sixteenth is the size. So I'm just going to get an accelerated video of me drilling the frame rails, but yeah, you get the picture. 3 16 hill hole and then, uh, and then put the rivets in, so not too hard. And, and, every, and the shield should be pretty secure now, so it doesn't have, it won't have a, a thing on it anymore. Uh, it won't be all floppy anymore, so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the left side first and then the right side. Okay, so I just got all the holes drilled. Take a quick peek. Oh. Uh, handy work here. Okay. Um, so I don't know. For some some reason, some people wouldn't drill straight. I guess some of the some of the frame rail isn't like flat or something. You know, <laughs> I guess my frame rails are kind of bent or something. Okay, so now it's time to go rivet. Uh, before that, I'm going to go spray the holes with some uh, some undercoating, okay? Rubberized undercoating. Okay, I'm going to just put a uh, quick spray of rubberized undercoating here. So the inside, you know, the parts that we just drilled are like exposed metal, so I want to keep that not exposed. Okay, so... Get the rivets through there. Uh, we should just always just use plastic bits. No, it's pretty nasty. I don't like working with this. But I got a whole bunch of it. I should use it. Okay, so where is it? Right here. Let's go. Just spray the holes. Okay. There it is. Big mess. <laughs> um, let's go let that dry. For a few minutes, okay. I, I don't care if it looks ugly like that. It's fine. I'll be putting rivets over it. So, all right. So uh, we'll let that dry for like okay. 20 minutes. Okay. Here something. we go. We're gonna go install these rivets. So here are the rivets right here in my hand. And here's the fun part right here. I get to use my new rivet gun. So, <laughs> um, so uh, I'm gonna show you right. 
Yeah, I'll show you right now why I would want to use this as opposed to the, the man manual one that I have. So the manual one that I have, obviously it's it's manual and hand activated and it's harder to use. So, but it doesn't fit underneath the car. See, I have to spread I have to spread the uh, the levers so I can use it. You know, and there's not enough. So I would have to jack the car up higher. Now I got I got by with that by just using the jack to jack the front up as high as I could. But I don't want to do that this time. This time I got this bad boy. This one takes up a lot less okay, space. Okay, so let's get this riveting party started. Let's do this. So when we're using this, you want to want you're gonna to want to make sure you press up on this all the way. Make sure it's up there all the way. It looks like it. Okay, and then let it go. Boom! That's it. Nice. Next one. Paint's still wet, but whatever. Okay. Woo. Wow. Man, did you see that? It went up in there. Actually pulled it pulled it in. Boom. Man, this makes this work. Really, really easy. Boom. That's it. Alright. Okay, this side's done. That was a piece of cake. Okay, this time I'm gonna try to get some first person view about the riveter in action. So here we go. operate it with one hand. Good thing is there's plenty of space to use this tool. There it goes. Okay, let's get that up in there so it goes in the hole. This hole's like way off. Okay. It's all up in there, and then just squeeze this, and it should just pop it. Boom. Love it. Another one here. Okay. Load the next one up. Okay, that one went straight in, no problem. Boom! Alright. Two more. Okay. It's kind of annoying. I have to clean my driveway up. This little thing is not. Okay. Here we go. Boom! Man, this tool makes this this work really, really easy. So, I'm trying to find the, where I put the hole. <laughs> I don't know where the hole is. I think it's right here. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Last one. Boom! That's it. Done. Uh, okay, so. The shield is pretty much installed. The only thing left to do is we need to go tighten those uh, those remaining uh, nuts up there. Okay, so there it is. Just rivet, rivet, security bit, rivet, rivet, security bit. So all the security bits are on the sides. So that makes it harder for them to to take the fasteners out. 
because they're different. They have to change their tools, you know. Um, this one kind of stripped itself, so you can't really take it out anyway. So, um, and then this you have to drill out. So it, it would be very difficult to take this out. <laughs> um, also, if you mess up, just just drill it out and just add, put another one. These are three sixteenth rivets, and if you really really mess up, then you can probably drill it to a quarter and use quarter inch rivets. Okay, but uh, the, there we go. It's on there and it's solid. I thought it was going to be kind of floppy, but yeah. Um. Yeah, man. I think you could still you could still cut the rear off, man. <laughs> in in my opinion, you could still cut the rear off of this. It's to say you can get a sawzall in there and cut it like it at an angle, man. But you're de you're definitely not getting the front of the cat, and also the uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, it would be a lot harder to get, man. That's for sure. I wish this thing went butted up like all the way here. I wish it was farther back you know, to like where this so uh, so the other one actually the third gen one has a little cutout here so you can put it right up against the resonator um this one doesn't so fortunately actually. i hope this does the trick man okay uh, okay so the last thing to do is okay. we're gonna go do so, this put the go tighten do the final final part of the instruction and we will tighten this splash shield here okay this. Get this to the hand first. It's pretty loose. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. Okay. Nice and tight now. even gonna torque it I'm just gonna you know, make sure it's really snug Just for extra security, I'm gonna go put uh, some Loctite on here, but you don't really have to put Loctite over the threads here, so just in case it won't back out. Okay. All right, well, we're pretty much done. There it is. Okay, so we're all done. It. Um, I didn't even bother to look at the instructions again, but uh, but it said that you install the rivets and everything. So if installed correctly, there should be enough space between the catalytic converter. And the cat security plate to ensure there is no vibration, noises, or unwanted contact. After the installation of security screws and rivets, be sure to tighten the front th three 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, we just did that, okay? Um, so we're done. Um, so let's go take a look at it more closely to make sure there's no clearance issues with anything, but I think, we're sh I think we should be fine. Ow. It's pretty solid. It's on there, man. Okay, so we'll kind of look at it to make sure, you know, everything is good to go. It doesn't look like there's really anything touching there. There's the resonator right there, or that's the catalytic converter, actually. So it shouldn't be touching it. Okay. So that's what it looks like from the back we saw from the front earlier. It's a big skid plate. Let's see, there's the CCM logo. There's the cat security logo, and there's that little thing so you can see. So, let's see if we can see the numbers on the on the cat. Yes, you can. Right there. That's what the smog technician will be looking for. It says Toyota EA6, okay? Okay. Okay. It's okay. Doesn't look like there's anything touching. You can see that number over there. That one says GD3 on it. I can see it. Probably can't see it in the camera, but I can see it. Yeah, there it is. See GD3 with the Toyota logo. Okay. Shouldn't be touching any weird stuff. Shouldn't be rattling. 
Um, so this install went pretty smoothly. Uh, it was a lot faster than the third gen one. The third one gen one took me like six hours to do. Uh, the only issue was this right here. Um, this was touching this really bad, you know. It was really warping it. So I wound up cutting this section out right here. And that little piece there. It wasn't that hard to cut out at all. If you've got a cutting wheel. It looks it looks actually professionally done. So <laughs> pretty happy with that. And then, and yeah. And then pretty much everything else installed pretty easily. So um, it was not that hard. It does take a while to install this one piece. Because it's so big. It's massive, dude. Um, but there, they won't be able to get, they won't be able to get to the uh, catalytic converter bolts any longer over there. So. And I stripped the uh, the bolt head so they can't they can't unbolt it. So I'll have to cut it out or something. You know. Um, all right, so there it is. So de definitely, uh, the last thing we should probably do is fire the car up and then uh, make sure it doesn't rattle or anything. Okay. Yeah. So there it is installed. Um, I, so I started this around, around six o'clock, I think, and it's now, it's now eight, eight thirty ish. So it took me two and a half hours and I was kind of taking my time. I painted the bottom of the car with that stuff. And so, so yeah, everything is squared away, man. I got a new cat and then a new cat shield. So. Hopefully that'll do the trick, and I, I sprayed all that underbody paint and stuff, rubberized undercoating, so hopefully it won't make any noise or anything. Um, I think it should be fine. Supposedly it says that your your car will be more aerodynamic too because it's it's flatter underneath, so there's less stuff hanging out the bottom, so that's cool. Um, yeah, man, I'm telling you, I'm looking at it though. <clears throat> I'm looking at it though, and like, what's to say you couldn't get a, you couldn't get a saw in the here, man? You can easily get a saw in there. Why couldn't they have made this longer? You know, at least extend it all the way up to here. You know, um, yeah, it's, that's one thing I'm disappointed with. I wish this, they made it a little bit longer. You know, so so it'd be harder. So they have to cut through the resonator instead. You know, um, yeah, because what's to say you couldn't get a sawzall and just stick it in there at an angle and cut it at an angle and then boom you got you cut the back part off already um yeah the hard part will be getting to the front but what's to say like they got this there's this huge cutout with their logo on it right that's one of the reasons i didn't want to get this because it had this huge cutout here um well i don't know what you would have to do is probably get the saza cut through here yeah you'd have to cut through here and cut through here you'd have to cut this whole thing out and it's open here so you can do that though you can get the you can get the blade in here and cut it like that it would be hard it would be hard to cut it because you got this kind of weird angle here but you could cut like a box out here right here stick the stick the saw in there cut through here and then cut over here this doesn't really do anything the back part man um you would think it would cover the whole thing so we'll take a look at the picture in the brochure and we'll see if that's if this is right because like i can still see the back part like pretty much the part where it's welded together is visible you know so you could easily easily get a uh, a saw up up in here you know um and then like like i said you can cut a box out here and you could at least steal one of the catalytic converters now is it a lot a lot of work as if you didn't have the shield yeah it's a lot more work so take a lot more time and you'll make a lot more noise so um yeah other than that it protects the front pretty well i have to say um, the front part protects it pretty well and that's that's where they're going to want to unbolt it and everything so um, definitely it'll be harder to steal than a, a prius without it you know so that that's the that's the idea it's not going to you know, if they really wanted to take it, you know, or if they stole your car and then they took it somewhere and they stole the catalytic converter, then, then yeah, you know, but, um, but if they look under your car and they're like, yeah, you know, let's not do this one. Let's go, let's go find another one. So uh, that, that's the idea. <laughs> and I kind of scratched it up with the jack a little bit here. It's not all pretty anymore. No, that's okay. It's going to be under the car. Nobody's going to see it except for me wants to look. Okay, so okay. before we go, I'm going to go fire it up. I got the key with me, man. Okay. 
fire it up. Let's make sure it doesn't make any noise when the engine fires up. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, it sounds fine. I don't hear any kind of rattling noises or anything. Okay, well, I think that's a that's a successful install. All right, here's me go. I'll, I will go over uh, all the tools that I use and like um, and then some final closing notes in the next, in the next video. All right, here's me out.